Welcome to Pickle Madness, where we rate different pickles and we're gonna find out what the winner is of the world's best pickle. I have Veronica with me, so we have two votes here. We have O oh Snaps. We have the ones you buy at the gas station, Van Horton's, the pickle in the pouch. We have got the Vlasic Purely Pickle. The Clausen, always refrigerated. Local Arizona Bubbies. The Munchies. The Classic Vlasic Snackums. And then another Max Arizona Pickle. We are going to be coming to you with two more videos. We're going to do two rounds of four, and then we will be um, putting those against the world's best pickles that we found at Costco the other day that I featured in a previous video. Stay tuned. Round one, Oh Snap versus Van Holten. First pickle, Oh Snap. Mm, jelly. Okay, Crunchy. pretty good, pretty good. We have to cut this one, it's big. All right, Van Holten. These are the gas station ones. Not as good, not as good. Yeah. Not good, don't get it. Okay, Vlasic Pure versus Clausen. All right, Vlasic Pure. Let's get one out there. I don't know. I don't know about this. I don't know. Okay, Clausen. Garlicky. These are not bad. Not bad. Oh, snap and claw. Mount Olive versus Bubbies. Not great. Not great. Okay. Bubbies. Oops. These are my favorite. These are Veronica's favorite. Oh, snap. Oh, I got all right. It. Here we go. Oh, no. These aren't dill. She snuck these in. Tricks. Tricks. These are Max, made in Arizona. Not bad, very salty. Vlasic Classic Snackums. That's a, that's a pretty good pickle, not gonna lie. So our winners this round are Bubbies and Vlasic, but I'm gonna be real honest with you, and Veronica might be too. We're finding there's a lot more bad pickles out there than there are good ones. It's kind of disappointing. Semi-final round, we have got Vlasic against Bubbies and Oh Snap against Clausen. Here we go. All right, round two, Oh Snap. Still a pretty good pickle. All right, round two for Clausen. That one's just a light, nice pickle. Mm -hmm. This is the one that's always stored in the fridge. There might be a reason to that. Okay, Clausen won that round. I feel like you gotta come Back in. Back to the classic Vlasic Snackums. Still just a normal, what I think of pickle. Very dilly, very dilly. All right, so these are Bubbies. They're a little unfair because it's not really dill. I didn't know that. But from not liking other pickles besides dill, this is pretty dang good. It's got a little bit of something something. Clausen and Vlasic, on to the next round. All right. Finals, we got Clausen. Good. Still a real good pickle, okay? And we are on to Vlasic. I think Clausen's got a win, this one. Okay, so Clausen's moving on as the winner. But now we're putting it up against the ones I did the video on last week that were um, from Costco that were said right on the box, world's greatest pickles. So here we go. So Clausen is today's official winner, and now it is going up against the world's greatest pickles. Oh yeah, here it goes. Here we go, Clausen again. I think we've eaten three of these. St we've eaten a lot of these. Still good pickle. All right, here comes the world's greatest. All right, Griot's pickles. These were from Costco. It's a good pickle. It's probably too so after much pickle eating and much deliberation, we have come to Clausen 
So there must be something about it being in the refrigerator that makes it the best. I don't know. If you have another pickle that you think is better than this, let us know. We'll put it up against this and see what we think. But for today, we have eaten nine, eight, nine different pickles, nine different pickles and rounds of them. So we're a little pickle belly sick. So we appreciate you watching along with all of the videos and the pickle testing. But Clausen is the winner, holding the official spot. Thanks, guys, for joining us for the Pickle Madness. Bye.